Um, we have loads of uh, roofs that are off. We have, you know, we have no power. It's, it's been a challenging um, 24 hours, as you could imagine. I'm not used to this kind of weather. <laughs> this is actually the strongest storm that we've had uh, come through St. Vincent in my lifetime. And I, I hope that um, I don't have another one. And to be fair, this wasn't even a direct hit. Uh, the eye of the storm was, was closer down to Karakou and Grenada. Um, we basically basically got the northeastern uh, quadrant where we got loads of wind and, and rain and stuff. So I, I shudder to think what it would be like if we actually had a direct hit. Sitting in the house, looking at the roof, and you can the wind was just constant. Um, you could you could hear the galvanize on the roof just having its own conversation, and and you're really just hoping for the best. And all around me, there were houses in the village. Um, their roofs were flying past. You could see it passing. Um, it was it was it was just a, a terrifying experience. Once you've experienced it, then you know. But until then. You, trust me, it's 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 crazy. I am worried uh, because it 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 seems as though it's going to be a very active one. Um, but I'm just hoping for the best. Um, I'm hoping that you know the trade winds pick up, and I'm hoping that we we have that upward trough that we usually have that usually keeps St. Vincent and the Grenadines safe. You know, this wall used to be the perimeter fence for Massey Supermarket, and basically this is what we have now. The water came up and. There was basically seawater everywhere in this compound yesterday. Um, so this is just a little, you know, taste of the damage that we, we've had. As I said, there are roofs off everywhere. Um, I don't think there's anybody on the island or even in the Grenadines who can say that they haven't been affected in one way or the other by this storm.